It's a middleweight matchup between Chris Weidman and Robert Whitaker. Are you ready? You ready? Oh, All right, ready for live action here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in the fight capital of the world. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Huge uppercut misses. He caught that one right on the knee. That could have hurt. So they are in the clinch here early. Could make for a suffocating and long fight tonight. Back to over under control. He's got the plum here. And there comes the separation now. Hook attempt now blocked though by Robert Wood. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Now, be careful. You know, oh, beautiful takedown. Now is where things could get really interesting. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. In half guard. Nice punch to the body. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Oh, elbow to the head. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by what? He's got him stacked here. He's got to be careful as he has him stacked here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. Two minutes remain in the round. He moves to stacking him now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by White. Now he's moved back into full guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Knee to the body here in side control. He's got full, oh, no, half guard. He moves in a full mount. Excellent posture. He got tagged there. Nice left hand. Raining some big shots down from the full mount. Moves to half guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. He's in half guard. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Strong oh, work here, staying busy. Round two straight ahead. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. Two underway. Wow! He's got him here. Oh, big left hook there. How about that shin? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Good exchange there. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Couldn't agree with you more. 
Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Oh, oh man! Oh, to the body. That is it. It was a big knee to the body, dropped him, and led to the TKO finish. Yeah, wouldn't mind seeing that again. Exciting flurry at the end of this fight. It was the one big strike that started it all, dropped the opponent, led to that knockdown, and ultimately created the opening to jump in and force the stoppage. Referee made the right call stepping in. And here's the end. You can see here from a different look, nasty shot to the body that lands absolutely perfectly. The legs go and gets the TKO. And let's look at that from another camera angle. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Robert Whitaker. Well, he's still on the right side of 30, and Robert Whitaker just continues to add.